This is the Ferrari F8, not to be confused with the SF90. Do they look very similar? Yes, I know people that know these cars are gonna be very annoyed at me, but ultimately I have, I had no idea. I, I saw there was a new Ferrari coming and I was like, is it just a spider version of a Ferrari we've already got? No, it was the SF90 we've got. If we back out, this is the SF90, it's a hypercar and this is the F8, also a hypercar. Both are rear wheel drive and so, Obviously, my brain wants to compare them. Look, Ferrari be confusing me. <laughs> so let's check it out. We, of course, have got the Summit Rewards to check out. And I tell you, that the, I'm not really keen on these. That'll do. That'll do. Here she is then. Let's... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it sounds spicy. The front end looks magnificent. I love this thing so much. But of course, ultimately, we want to see what it's going to be like in terms of customization. We want to see what it's going to be like in terms of actual driving. And hopefully, that means... We could get into a race where we can test this thing out because, my goodness, it sounds pretty good. I love the burbles as you let off. Oh, spicy. It sounds good. I'm, I'm quite impressed, actually. It is a modern Ferrari. I actually have no clue what the hell is going on. I didn't know these cars existed. What are you? I didn't know they existed until I started seeing them appear in games. And then actually, one time I went to a dealership, I was what the heck is that? I think this new generation of Ferraris are not massive lookers. They, they just, they look a bit generic. And I feel like that's <laughs> kind of going to be the way with a lot of supercars re uh, recently. But I see with Lamborghini, you get that Lamborghini look. They haven't changed hugely in terms of the design. Oh, that was a nice slot. Right, initial drive over. I need to see what the customization is like before i tell you whether you should buy it or not it's kind of important come on then let's jump into the customization visual customization we've got two huds <laughs> two huds to go off with we've got carbon fiber and non-carbon fiber i actually don't really mind the carbon fiber it looks pretty good 15 front bumpers which again for a brand new car that's pretty impressive so i don't know how i feel about that i, I only just noticed that that's actually not part of the light cluster it's just an intake over there, but you can make it painted and kind of makes the lights look smaller. That's a very strange effect. Carbon fiber on the front instantly makes it nicer. Another little splitter on the front instantly makes it nicer. The non-painted versions, oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. I kind of want this, right? But with the stock lights, I don't really, yeah. Whatever, we're going for number 14. Wow, fantastic. Rims, let's change these. I don't actually like them very much. They look a bit... They look a bit cheap. <laughs> Maybe that's the intent. So, are we going to go with chrome wheels <laughs> from Ivory Tower? Maybe. Back in the day, you could only <laughs> you could only do wheel customization on Ferraris. They've definitely gone up a few levels in my books. And I am definitely keeping the yellow. So let's go with a yellow, or more, maybe more of an orange, on the brakes. Match it. That looks a little goofy. Ah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Side skirt customization. Again... Ferrari's come a long way. I'm really impressed. Carbon fiber opposed to painted or pl black plastic. Roof! We got a roof. It, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's a spider. It's a convertible. And Ferrari convertibles are actually quite nice. What I will say, actually, because I'm always a, I'm a bit of a hater <laughs> when it comes to convertibles. This is not bad. It's not a stupid soft top. The back window is a little bit funny. Like, it doesn't look great there. But overall, it looks nice. Hard tops... We like, but we're sticking with that because why would you put the roof on? I've seen so many, you know the AMG we customized the other day? I've seen so many people putting the soft top roof on. What are you doing? It's kind of disgraceful, actually. <laughs> right, number four on the wing. It's fine. Rear bumper, change it to carbon fiber. It's actually changed the shape of it a little bit. It feels like it does, but it might just be the reflections. We've got the, the painted diffuser, which looks actually pretty awesome. Ooh, we're going with this. And we could go proper fruit salad or we could go for yellow. We, we could go like yellow mobile. <laughs> uh, that might be a bit too much, actually. That'll do. That'll do. The interior set. Yeah, yeah. I want to change from carbon fiber to black plastic. What do you take me for? What do you take me for? Offensive, genuinely. This looks good. It looks really nice. I'm guessing, like, here's my guess, because I don't actually know. This is like the new 458, right? The new F, it's like the 458, it's like the new 488, I, I guess. The front kind of has that bit of resemblance. Now I'm looking at it. The rear is just completely weird and different. Uh, anyway, in terms of Anna, so you go yellow wing. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But what I will do, actually, those full slicks be looking spicy. Do we have semi slicks? 
I really wish there was like a plain semi slicks, but that looks spicy enough. For those curious what the other colors will look like, here's the red version of it, which definitely looks sexy. That looks sexy, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with the yellow. Oh, that looks stunning. What is it with that blue on like super? It's, it's just not. Oh, OK, any shade of blue, any shade of blue, blue Ferrari. I would be, I would I, I would do it on one last thing. Tint the windows. <laughs> Question is, do I have enough parts to level? Yeah, of course I do. It's easy. Easy. <laughs> oh, yellow seats. Yellow whip. This is super fresh. Super, super fresh. And of course, we're going to see how this thing performs. But I've got to say, from a go, it feels quick. Why are you in my way? It feels properly quick. I'm, like, I'm actually so impressed. I love it so much. The 488, I genuinely love. It was kind of weird because the 458 came out and I liked it. And then the 48 came out. So I'm like, you know what? That is actually, I prefer it. <laughs> I really do. Now, because I put a little bit of time in, essentially, uh, I got my summit rewards. I only want, I think I only wanted bronze. So I did like, the, yeah, I did the basic activities. Yes! That's just bronze. <laughs> I feel like it's 10,000 and you're out. All I really wanted was the XP. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the rewards have, uh, I've been lacking a little bit here. Like I've got the <gasps> ledger points. All right, we're going for silver on this summit. That's for damn sure. Uh, we could, oh God, these don't look super fun. And we have some XP. We're doing this summit. Main reason I want to level up. I want that beautiful Corvette. That looks stunning. It's going to be super easy to get now that I've got like, I've just got to put in the time for the PVP. I'm, I'm like the king. So let's jump in and not <laughs> get anything to do with hypercars whatsoever. Drift, what do you what do you take me for? Please hold, I will wait. <laughs> I'm actually going to take part in the one sort of event that I can use the new car. This is the SF90. This is the F8 Spider. I'm going to say, I think the F8 Spider looks world's better than the sf90 anyway they both go 280 miles an hour they're not 60 2.6 versus 2.5 the braking whatever 1261 in the horsepower 1414 in the horsepower however this weighs a decent amount less that's going to be an interesting comparison between the two either way i'm using the new one obviously so testing out the new car let's see what we get on the first run I, I, I've not driven this car in a race before and of course I'm not kind of assuming that this will be the quickest hello what are you doing here oh there it is there's that new car that I want this summit it's wide and beautiful something I have noticed is that the wing is no longer an active aero wing because I put the wing on the wing now you hear me out ivory tower that is disgraceful how could you do this to me <laughs> How could you do this to us? I need that active aero wing. And even though it had one, now I'm looking at it, it's pretty damn obvious it's got an active aero wing. So the rear end of it, I don't want to say it's particularly great to look at. I, it, it's fine, don't get me wrong. However, it feels to drive really, really impressive. Like it doesn't feel massively like a rear wheel drive car. They, they've got it, the balance, right. Of course, I'm talking about how a car drives in an arcade racing game but hey <laughs> it doesn't feel too lazy and all over the place the problem is with the hypercar class and these being in the hypercar class because i don't think it really should be in the hypercar class it ultimately <sighs> struggles against the higher end actual hypercar competition it's getting a bit slippery now isn't it <laughs> like we're talking about bugattis yesco there's just no chance that this thing has any competition against those. Provides anything of worth over those cars. I seriously think these cars should be in the like supercar class. There should be a supercar class in the crew. And, and that is a bit of a problem. I feel like Need for Speed and the crew do the same problem. It's like you've got the hyper cars, but they refuse to accept that supercars exist. Why Street Tier 2? Why not supercar? <laughs> Why? 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 Like, I'm sure this is going to be fine and pretty quick, but come on. We ain't, we ain't touching them guys. No chance. Not to say that these aren't performing well, because my God, it, it feels good. The acceleration is... Does that count? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This would be an epic cruising car. And I really want to get like a sound tune that would just let you make the thing sound a bit more high pitched. That would be 
epic. It's a finish. And across the line, what do we get? Again, a little bit slidey, but actually not too bad. Anything near 100,000 is actually a really decent score. Starts to squeeze up top, but 100,000. So 100, it's a decent car, because that was my first time driving the car on a competitive event. 103,000 would be like a, a good starting place. So pretty impressive. I'm quite happy with it, actually. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> oh, no. Every time I see Pearl Harbor... Pearl Arbor, Pearl Necklace. Oh my, you know, as much as we've kind of been talking a little bit down about this Ferrari, the shifting, the, the actual acceleration of this car is insane. If I come to a standstill and just go through it with NOS, watch that speedo. It is mental. It climbs tens like most cars climb single digits and even without NOS, the acceleration is monumental that might have been a quirk that they gave this car just for the simple fact that it, they know it's not gonna get anywhere near the top speed of the big ends i say that but she's climbing well maybe i need to shut my mouth and try it before i do that though i am going to remove that damn wing get the hell off the car that's not that's the ribbon get off my whip how dare you maybe if we go for that one with the carbon fiber please active aero now because actually have I been... Wait, 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 wait. We put the standard one back on. I swear, in that race, the wing of that car came up. Does it not move? Maybe I was seeing things, because what the heck? All right, let's see what we get in terms of top speed then. So, 240, 250, without touching a little bit of boost. Pretty nice. It, it likes to kind of sit around 260. Not bad. I feel like the Bugattis really like to... A really comfortable, like... 280 <laughs> but i genuinely did not expect this level of speed from the car i get that they put it in the hypercar class but come on tops are exactly at 300 i feel like yeah even the bugattis the, the thing is with bugattis they are not the best in terms of top speed but they handle corners and acceleration really really well so that's why the majority of people use them and i think the bugattis there's one king but there are multiple queens right underneath. No, I can't say that. Princes right underneath. <laughs> Let's get into the grand race. Motocross, Alpha GP, then hypercar. Ending with the best so you can see if it's any good. This is the lineup. I, I think it's a pretty good one. All I really care about is the Ferrari. But let's get to it. Come on. Starting off. Middle of the pack, pretty much. Mate, there's always someone with that blue, bloody crystallized, bloody smoke. Let's see how we get on. I don't know anything about the bikes. I don't think he's ever, ever come into play, but... <laughs> Clearly, I picked right. I did something right. This is going to be pretty damn telling. Whoa. What you think you're doing, boy? Whoa. No, I landed funny. No! Are you kidding me? I hate these bikes. <laughs> what the hell? I remember a summit event that ended the same way. You, you couldn't land properly unless you went like two miles an hour. Let's move into something a little bit nicer. Here we go. So I, I generally use the Ferrari, not the Ferrari, <laughs> generally use the Red Bull, but I've noticed that the people that win with these generally use the Ivory Tower cars. And I have heard that the Ivory Tower cars are pretty uh, good. God, the music they use on these is so sick. I love it. Stay behind me. I can hear you. Oh, he's ages away. I really do think they should have this, have a bias towards the car that is like the new vehicle. Oh God. For example, hypercar today. Why are we not hypercar in today? You get on the road. Why I gotta wait 30 damn minutes <laughs> to get into an event with the new car that just came out to see if it's any good. So on the day, put a bias based on the car. All right? Thank you. <gasps> what are you doing? You I, I hate that. I hate here we go. The switch to the car we actually care about. Oh, look at all the Bugattis. <laughs> and let's see where this pack leaves me. Oh, 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 let's get some NOS going. They're doing the damn same. Oh my God, that Lamborghini is quick. All wheel drive acceleration right there. That's for damn sure. And thankfully, pretty much no matter where I am, <laughs> I get a draft. They're just fighting each other. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Off he goes. Oh God, where's the road gone? <laughs> ah! I have now completely left that pack, even though I messed up. That's pretty impressive. 
Oh, ah, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> He's right there. Bro, what are you doing? With the base setup, it doesn't inspire much uh, confidence. Because it's a little bit... Uh, it's very well dry. Ultimate. It's, it's, uh, it's very well dry. Can this guy get past me? That's going to be pretty informational. I see him trying to cut corners a little bit. Oh, stop slipping! Where'd he go? Oh, he just got done in. Ah, oh, no. Here come the corners. Here come the corners. Overall, it feels pretty quick. Oh, that was so smooth. There's actually a Bugatti right in front of me. And two Lamborghinis setting off very, very well. They are having a bit of a fight, it would, it would appear. Should make use of my NOS when I come out of here. Go. The initial acceleration is not quite there. But once it starts going, it's pretty damn good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Fair play. Quite impressed overall with that thing. Ninth place. Okay, fine. I think that tells us what we need to know. It's not me, but <laughs> that is proper interesting. Check out these if you're interested in the festive motors.